Today we're making sesame bean. So what is bean? It's a bread, but not the bread you think of in the states. You can think of it as a cross between bread and a flat cake. It's usually a starch in eastern China, and usually it's savory. There are many, many kinds. They could be thin like crepes, or even up to several inches thick. Some are straight doughs, some are fermented, but they are all called bean. This one that we're making today in particular is a yeasted dough, and it's laminated like a croissant, so you get a flaky, layered finished product. This is a very important step. Add hot oil to flour and combine. You can add salt and allspice powder to the flour in this step too. Once the dough is done proofing, you can give it a quick knead just to punch down some of the air, and roll it out to about a quarter inch thick. Spread the oil flour mixture onto the dough. If you are making croissants or puff pastry, you'd be using butter for this step. But here, our oil mixture serves as the fat. It's important that the oil is cooled off here. You don't want to incorporate it into the dough; you want it layered in between. I added a little flour to the dough before rolling it. Cut the dough into six pieces and form into rounds. Here, Amy's pressing both sides of the roll closed. You get a good view of the layers that form when you roll it. Next, take your ball of dough, roll it into a long oval, then fold it into thirds. Then rotate it. Roll it out flat again and fold into thirds. And just like that, we went from eight layers to twenty-four layers. To seventy-two layers, and let them rest for about fifteen minutes. You can see how they've puffed up again nicely. Then you can roll them out to their final size of about three by six inches. Mix them lightly with water and add some sesame seed to the top, and I like to add plenty of sesame seed. Cook them over medium heat on a skillet or a griddle if you have one. About two to three minutes each side should be okay, or until they're golden brown. Just keep an eye on your stove, and you don't want to let it burn. That's it. Serve them as a side dish, or eat them filled like a sandwich. Check out all of those layers. Looks good, right? And thank you for watching today. If you like it, please give us a thumb up. And until next time, we're signing off.